Welcome to the BSG Primer Series, a series of short videos to help you better understand how standards are made at the ITUT. This is our first BSG Primer and it covers the structure of our study groups. So here we go. There are 11 study groups in the ITU's standardization sector. Each study group is identified by a number. For example, study group 2, study group 3, study group 17. These are also known for short as SG2, SG3, and not surprisingly, SG17. The ITUT's governing body is the WTSA. The WTSA, or World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly, is held every four years, and it agrees, among other things, on the mandate and structure of the study groups. The WTSA also appoints the chairman and vice chairman of study groups. In between WTSAs, the TSAG meets. The TSAG is the Telecommunication Standardization Advisory Group. TSAG can also agree on new areas of study, also known as questions, or cues for short, and their allocation to the study groups between WTSAs. In terms of how study groups are structured, each SG has a number of working parties. A working party, a WP, can meet during a study group meeting, but it can also meet on its own as a standalone working party. Like a study group, a working party is led by a working party chairman. Now each working party covers a subset of questions that were assigned to the study group. Cues or questions is how we refer to an area of work to be studied. Every study group has a number of questions. And these are numbered accordingly. For example, study group 3 would have question 7 slash 3. And study group 15 would have question 7 slash 15. A question is led by a rapporteur. Under each question, if you break it down further, you will find several work items. These work items usually lead to an output, and that's usually an ITU standard, known as an ITUT recommendation. Each of those work items is led by one or more editors, and the list of work items is contained in a database that we call the ITUT work program. You can consult the work program for every study group on our website. So there you have it. Simply put, each ITUT study group has a number of working parties which each cover a number of questions. Those questions in turn contain a number of work items, which are basically assigned pieces of work resulting in a product, usually an ITUT recommendation or standard. This short video has been brought to you by ITUT's Bridging the Standardization Gap program. Thanks for watching.